Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm coming at you from the hood of my truck and uh, today we're going to be building a timing wheel for predominantly chainsaws but any two-stroke, four-stroke working on small engines. Uh, this tool is primarily used for port mapping or just figuring out your timing on small engines specifically if you're going to be modifying them, hot rodding them, uh, just port work in general. And so Basically, th there's there's a million different ways you can set these up. This is just the way that my brain figured out how I want to put this together, and I just thought I'd share it with you guys. So uh, the basic equipment that you're going to need, and if you really want to, you can get all of this on Amazon. You need a timing wheel, a, uh, let me grab it here, drill chuck, a, um, length of 6 mil all threaded rod to fit the 6 mil hole in that timing wheel, a length of uh, half inch by 20, so fine thread all threaded rod that'll fit into the drill chuck, and your assemblage of washers and nuts and things like that just to finish putting everything together. So the long and short of it is the plan here is what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a small section off of that uh, half inch all thread. I'm going to go an inch and a quarter because the drill chuck goes in one inch deep and I want just a little bit to be able to uh, just sort of finger tighten it on with. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill and uh, tap that section of half inch so that I can thread that six mil all thread into it. So that way I'll be able to connect that six mil all thread into that drill chuck to hold the timing wheel in a way that it is centered and squared and locked in. So once I get that on there, I'll just cut that uh, six mil to length. I'll probably just do like two or three inches, something like that. And I'll just uh, throw on a nut and a flange nut so that way it'll push against these washers. The washers will put against the, push against the rubber washers. I plan to just have it friction fit because um, that rod should be the perfect size for that uh, hole in the center of the timing wheel and once everything gets all together I should be able to do my fine adjustments and then crank it down with a wing nut to lock it in and uh, not have to monkey around too much with getting this thing zeroed. So uh, I'm gonna quit yakking here guys and just sort of get to work and kind of piece by piece where I can. I don't really have a cameraman or a tripod right now so as I uh, get to going on things I'll try and keep you guys updated and we'll see what we get when we're done. All right, <clears throat> here's what we uh, wound up with, if it'll go. Got it smoothed out just with a uh, little grinding stone on that Dremel. And uh, yeah, about an inch and a quarter, rough line. It's not super important because this is just what uh, holds that smaller piece in. But uh, yeah, I'll get on to the next step, which is going to be drilling and tapping this. All right, well, we've got that uh, piece of half inch all thread all chucked up into the drill press. Um, got it all squared and centered. Now, uh, <laughs> again, sorry for the messy shop. Just a different corner, same mess kind of deal. But uh, basically the plan is that we're just going to, uh, I got this tap and die, or not tap, a drill and tap set where it's got the proper um, bit for it. Got it all centered and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill this all the way through because there's no point in not going all the way through. It'll make the chips clear a lot easier. And then as soon as I get this hole drilled I will uh, get it all threaded and that'll pretty much be it for the assembly. Everything else is just bolt-on at this point. Alright so you're gonna see now I took that uh, inch and a quarter piece of the half inch by uh, 20 I drilled out the appropriate hole for it and then I tapped the threads for the um, six millimeter all thread rod that I've got. So now the last thing I need to do is fully assemble it. So yes, I'm on the hood of my old truck just for uh, lack of a better workbench. So now I've got that six mil thread. Uh, I don't even really remember the exact length. This part is not super important because you can cut 
pretty much whatever length you need to get it past the side of your uh, crank crankcase handle, uh, whatever you need to do to get clearance. So then all you really got to do at this point is thread that in. I'll uh, get this fully assembled. I'll let you guys see what the final product looks like. All right, and here's the finished product. Um, really simple. Basically what I did was I took the drill chuck. I cut that section of the um, 12 or half inch by 20, drilled it out, tapped it. Then I just put a uh, regular six mil hex nut, then a uh, flange nut, a steel washer, then there's a rubber washer, the wheel, rubber washer, steel washer, and then just a wing nut. So this way I can tighten and loosen it all by hand. I don't need any tools. I can do my fine tuning and I can crank it down and the friction has a really solid hold on it. So uh, now I'll be able to clamp this down on pretty much any uh, crankshaft that I'll find on a two-stroke that I'm going to be working on, mostly chainsaws. And so this timing wheel should set me up to get started porting, and I'm looking forward to making videos on porting as I just sort of go through the process, trial and error. I'll try and show everything, whether it works or doesn't, and just sort of uh, start a new chapter in this channel. So um, that's it for this video, guys. Like, subscribe, do what you got to do. I'll see you all in the next one.